Hello, today we'll be talking about the 1267 air filter regulator. The 1267 air filter regulator is designed to provide clean, accurate air pressure to instruments, valves, and other automatic control equipment in a lightweight, compact housing. This instrument is used to take a high pressure, which comes into the air filter regulator through the supply pressure inlet, then take it down to a lower, predetermined set point that will then supply accurate pressure to something that is pneumatically operated. These units are very compact and lightweight in construction. The 1267 AFR has built-in locations for easy mounting where other competitive units won't. These units come in both a quarter inch and half inch MPT ported version. It has a very high flow capacity with low air consumption, ultimately lowering your operating costs. The 1267 AFR has a very rugged and corrosion resistant design and it comes with an 18 month warranty. Getting into some of the specifications, the 1267 AFR is offered in three different pressure ranges, 0 to 30, 0 to 60, and 0 to 120 PSIG. The maximum supply pressure is 250 PSI. This is the maximum pressure that can enter the air filter regulator without damaging or failure occurring to the diaphragm and the air filter regulator itself. The standard filter is 40 microns, however if more filtration is required, a 5 micron filter can be selected. The suggested operating media would be air, inert gas, sweet natural gas, or something comparable. Now, how does the 1267 AFR actually work? The process material enters the 1267 on the left inlet process connection and fills the supply pressure housing. The process material then travels through the filter towards the valve. Once the process material passes through the orifice of the valve, the pressure is reduced in the regulated pressure housing. If the regulated pressure becomes too high, an upward force on the diaphragm occurs. This upward force, in turn, closes the valve allowing the pressure to lower back down to equilibrium. The range and set point of the regulator is determined by the range spring. The spring coefficient of the spring determines the range and how far the spring is compressed determines the set point. This set point can be field adjustable via the adjustment screw located at the top of the housing. The tapped exhaust option can also be selected in order to ensure that any process material that can potentially leak through the diaphragm into the atmosphere, such as natural gas, can be captured via this option. For example, this would be used if the unit is placed inside of a building where you do not want natural gas to build up. These units can be used almost anywhere pneumatically actuated devices are used and the supply air must be regulated to an allowable pressure. Some examples of this are valve automation, pneumatic controllers, pneumatic tooling, etc. A specific application where you would see the 1267 AFR is on separate packages, supplying regulated pressure to a liquid level controller. Oftentimes liquid level controllers are pneumatically operated due to the fact that power can be an issue for separators since they are out in very rural locations. In order to accurately supply the instrument air pressure for a liquid level controller to work, an air filter regulator must be used. For more information on the 1267 AFR, please see our catalogs and general instructions which can be downloaded from our website at www.sorinc.com or feel free to contact our local customer service department with any questions that you may have. Thank you and have a great day.